Hey guys, this is Surya from Skillink. I'm here with another video in our career series program. Today, I wanted to speak about five facts that a lot of mechanical engineers ignore or don't even know. So what are those five facts? Let's see what they are. The first thing I wanted to speak about was tool test and its importance. What is the tool test? So if you have not heard about this term tool test, so that is something that you will be facing in an interview. So if you go for a design interview or a FEA interview or a CFD interview, what the company will ask you is uh, they will put you through one round of technical interview and if you pass the technical interview, they will ask you to apply the theoretical uh, aspects that you know, learned in an industry oriented project in a tool test, right? So it might be ANSYS, it might be SOLIDWORKS, it might be CATIA, but you need to show your expertise in a particular tool within a particular time period. So you need to be good at the tool, you need to have a very good understanding of the theoretical aspects and you need to apply in any project that they provide you. So that's one thing that you need to know. So tool test with any mechanical engineering company or automotive engineering company is a mandatory. So uh, be prepared for that. Uh, so how to do the tool test well? So that's the second point. So a lot of mechanical engineers or automotive engineers uh, in India think that just mugging theoretical aspects will help you clear an interview that will help you only clear the technical round it won't help you clear the tool test so that's why you need to understand the theory and try to apply it in a particular tool and practice it at different uh, levels so that is so you can take multiple projects uh, which are industry oriented and try to apply your theoretical aspects on it and try to kind of get results from uh, those projects so that is something that you need to do if you are a mechanical or an automotive engineer. The third one is industry oriented projects. So here is where, so you, you basically learn the theory, you learn the tool, or now you need to start working on industry oriented projects. So if you know GrabCAD or any other uh, 3D modeling platform, you can basically get 3D models and uh, import that into any software that you are using for, for either a FEA or a CFD analysis and determine the results uh, post your analysis, right? So that is something that you need to do out there. So industry oriented projects. The fourth one is something kind of a fact that I wanted to say only six point. So there are around a lack of mechanical engineers uh, who graduate out of uh, engineering every year, right? And in this lack, only 6.4% are employable and also get a job for a, in a core engineering company. So what happens to the remaining? They do not have access to all the three that I mentioned before. So if you are a mechanical or an automotive engineer, and if you want to get into a core engineering job, so some of the things that you need to focus on is have a really good understanding of technical co uh, concepts, apply that in a particular tool and make sure you work on a lot of industry oriented projects, right? And uh, so, okay, when I say have good understanding of technical concepts, in engineering, you end up studying anywhere between 40 to 48 subjects. Do, should you be really good at all those 40 to 48? Actually, no. You just need to pick your domain. And in, if you pick your domain, then there will be only four subjects that you need to specialize in. So for example, if you take CFD as your domain, then you need to specialize in fluid dynamics, thermodynamics, heat transfer, jet propulsion, and gas dynamics. If you take FEA, which is structural analysis, solid mechanics, strength of materials, probably vibrations, and then finite element analysis. These are four courses. If you take design, machine design, kinematics of machines, uh, engineering graphics, and um, dynamics of machines, right? So these are four courses that you need to look into. So if uh, respective to your domain of interest, there are just four courses that you need to focus on. So it's pretty simple. You don't need to mug up all the 40 subjects. You just need to have very good theoretical understanding in four subjects. If you have very good theoretical understanding in four subjects, then learn a tool, make sure you apply the theoretical understanding in those uh, of the subject in the tool. Once you learn the tool, make sure you work on a lot of industry projects so that you get expertise in the tool with any project that you can uh, be provided, then make sure you're not a part of the statistic, right? So this will help you get into a code engineering job. Thank you so much guys. If you have any additional questions, do let me know. I'll address that in another video. Thank you so much.